What's up guys, it's Morgan and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so number one, congratulations, like you got into your university. Virtual high five, I'm proud of you dude, like hand on heart, well done. Number two is in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys 16 pieces of advice, tips, tricks, things I wish someone told me. This is gonna be things for your freshest week and for your whole first year, okay? So let's go on with the video. <laughs> Okay, so for number one is when you go onto campus like for your very first time, that's sort of like the introduction day where you pick up like your campus keys and you pick up your like your campus ID and stuff. That will be the day that they take your photo if you haven't sent in a photo, right? So if you're like journeying to get to university, make sure, you, I don't know, you brush your hair before you get out of the car, okay? Because those pictures, they literally don't give you a second chance. Like, okay, one, two, three, and then you... And then it's on your ID forever. So make sure you look okay, all right? Piece number two is when you got on campus and when you moved in, make sure you save all the important numbers, okay? Make sure you find out like campus security. Make sure you find out um, the helpline for the university. Make sure you find out all these little things. Okay, for number three, I'm just gonna give this, it's not really a tip, but it's a piece of advice. Do not stress if you haven't found your friendship group by the end of Freshers Week, okay? It's just one week, okay? You have a long time, all right? I know there's a lot of expectation for Freshers Week, don't worry, just chill. You will find your place and your group. Okay, so number four is writing notes in class. So do not write your notes in a notebook. Like I wanted to be that girl that had like color coordinated notebooks and they were so pretty and they had like different notebooks for each like module and stuff. And it, guys, write your notes on your laptop. You do not have time to make your notes look pretty if you're writing them down. Your handwriting is just atrocious by the end of it. You can't even read it. Half the time you're spelling things wrong. You don't have time to like correct it. Your professor's talking too fast. So you can't even like do it neatly. Like if you're writing on your actual laptop, one, you can actually read it. You can reprint it. You can edit it later. You can write notes around it. You don't have to copy it out again and again. Your laptop saves time. It's more efficient. You can print it off. You can see it easier. Like just use your laptop. It's so much easier. Okay, for number five is it's better to try something out than to not. And what I mean by this is there will be so many like freshers fairs and so many like clubs and activities like showing around like come join us, come join us. And if you're sitting there thinking like, oh, I kind of want to try it, but I'm kind of nervous. Just do it. Just honestly go try it because what well, like they're not school clubs. Okay, so when you try it, if you really don't want to be in it, like you're an adult now, they will treat you like an adult and you can just, just leave. Honestly, like and a lot of the times they expect that from freshers because they expect you to go try and see if it's your thing. If it's not your thing, don't do it. But what's worse if you sit there and go, oh, but. I might not like it so I just won't try it because then like you don't get to try it and university is all about trying things so go do something if you have a slight interest in it or you think oh that might be fun because it might be it might not and then you can just quit anyway so yeah try it okay, so number six is with the parties and with freshers week this is for freshers week and actually this is for the whole year I'm not really sure what's happening with the whole COVID situation and stuff but remember that you don't have to go to every single one if you want to like amazing dude go have fun but if you don't don't feel pressured that you're gonna get like fomo like you're gonna miss out on something and you're like oh god i missed out on such a good night like most of freshers week nights are kind of the exact same like someone is paralytic someone's throwing up someone's trying to be the mum someone gets you all home in a taxi and then you do the whole thing the next day okay there might be a different menu but it's kind of the same right so if you're one of those people that doesn't want to go to all the parties prioritize which ones you want to go to or there might be like a specific venue then go to that one you don't have to go to them all okay you're not gonna miss out i promise you there will be parties for the next three years of your life in university freshers is just the one that everyone goes crazy about but they're kind of like the same thing each year, okay, for one. And also like the same thing happens in them, okay? Honestly, you're not gonna, you're not gonna miss out, dude. Trust me, you're not gonna miss out. Okay, for number seven, this is about lectures and this is for your whole year, okay? Your lecturers will not baby you. And what I mean by this, so you know in school when like you had exams coming up or you had like assessments coming up and they sort of reminded you like every week, like, have you done your revision? Have you done this? Have you done this? University will like not even tell you when your assignment dates are. They will literally give you an assignment sheet and it will tell you the date at the top. They won't tell you in lectures. And then they will expect you to submit it on the assignment date and they won't keep on reminding you. Like at that point with them, they treat you like adults. It's the same with, so if you fail a module or something, you'll have to redo it, okay? And you redo it at the end of the year, right? But if you're the only one that's failed, it's not like a level it's not like GCC. Like everyone isn't doing it. There might only be one person that's doing it and they will expect, they will send you like one email informing you that 
actually sometimes they don't but they might send you one email saying that you failed or you just wait and see your grade and then they'll be like oh you'll be like oh i failed and then they'll expect you to find out when the reassignment date is and they'll expect you to do it all by yourself which is like doesn't sound like a big deal but with university like a lot of things are happening but it means that you have to be on top of it you've got to get your shit together guys you need to know what's happening and when okay for number eight this is about your accommodation or your room or whatever you guys are saying okay so as soon as you move in before you unpack anything check the room okay if there is anything that is stained anything that is broken anything that is falling off anything that is slightly damaged like anything that is not in perfect condition take a picture of it send the accommodation e like whoever your accommodation email is to send them an email and make sure it's dated of every single picture of everything that's wrong because otherwise what they will do is at the end of the year when they do the room inspection they will charge you for that damage even if you know and they know you haven't done it they don't care it's money okay so make sure you take a picture of everything that is not okay and this is about assessment so listen up guys this is something that i didn't know and i wish someone had told me you can only redo an assignment if you fail it and that sounds pretty logical but i thought when i was doing my assignments i was like oh it's not too much stress because like if i fail i can redo it and when i said fail i mean like get a low grade but no unless you proper properly fail it as in get zero and do not do it like if you just do crap you will not be able to redo it all right but saying that your first year marks do not pass on to the next year okay all you have to do in first year is passed otherwise you can't transfer on to the second year but if you didn't get like um, a 2-1 or a, a first and you got like say you just passed okay the grades you got then do not pass over to second year but i do not recommend you just like sort of you know swimming in the deep end and just like getting along because the harder you work in first year the like it more the more it sets you up for your second and third year okay because you learn things you know how to work with things hello oh yummy my mom brought me some fudge. Mmm, oh, that's, that's good. Okay, that was really good fudge. My mom just bought me some. But what I was saying, guys, is your first year marks do not count towards your end degree. Okay, for number 10, this is a tip, all right? Change your lock screen when you go out. So what you're going to want to do is go onto your notes right now and make a, like, a one-night lock screen. And you're going to say, if found, please phone, and you're gonna write a phone number, either a friend or the person you're with or something, because the amount of phones I found in clubs, or in my nights out, okay, left somewhere or fallen out somewhere, and I see a picture of like you and your dog, or I see a picture of like you and your boyfriend, or I see a picture of, I don't know, some Tumblr quote, because although the picture of you and your like boyfriend looks really cute, it's not gonna help someone if you've lost your phone it's not gonna help them all right change your lock screen it's it works okay it works number 11 is show up to your lectures on the first week first week is when they do all the introductions it's when they explain everything it's when they talk about the course it's when they talk about all your modules it's when they talk about assignments and stuff it's when they give you all the information so if you're gonna not show up to your lectures do not not show up to your first week because your first week is the most important honestly like you can catch up on the other ones because they usually put them on some sort of like platform like your student website or whatever that you can find all the lectures but if it's like first week make sure you show up to them because these are going to be the ones that you probably won't put on blackboard because they're not doing actual like academic stuff they're just doing like the introduction stuff but these are the important ones so number 12 is go to the fairs all right again i don't know what's happening with covid but i'm assuming they're still gonna be on just like socially distance or something and even if you don't want to like go to the careers fairs because you don't need to like talk about your career or even if you don't want to go to the freshers fair because like you don't want to join a club go anyway because they hand out loads of free stuff like i remember when i went to career fairs and i got like so many like pens and food and like like a water bottle and everything like it was it was really good and free stuff is always fun when you're a uni student because you're gonna be broke so go to the freshers fairs because they give out free stuff okay, number 13 is you do not need to buy all of your reading like lists okay because i know that your university like is they send out a reading list and things that you they recommend you having stop before you waste the best part of like 200 pounds on books they will have them in the university library. They will 100%, if they're recommending you to read them, they will be like key books in the library. So if you do not want to spend that amount of money, buy like three books that you want to like a head start in, just so they know that you've like taken this seriously. And then with the rest of the books, just take them out of the library, okay? With university as well, you see the library loans are like longer, like they give you like two months rather than like a week that you got in school. So yeah, if you don't want to waste your money buying the books, just go to the library. 14, this is about freshers week and going out and actually for the whole year. Do not, for the love of God, 
take out your passport as your ID. Yes, I'm talking to you. Do not do it. Do you honestly trust your drunk self, your like not deep pockets, your unzipped pockets to hold your passport? Like, no. Do it guys, don't trust yourself with that. Take out your provisional. Okay, number 15, this is when you are emailing your professors. One tip I've learned, put your question because you will have 100, put your question at the in the subject of the email because what happens is you're trying to be nice. Right? So you're gonna be like, hi, um, James. It's kind of odd because you're like calling them by your, their first name. So it's like this weird sort of experience, right? Because you've gone from like calling teachers, Mrs, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so you're now on first name basis with your lecture and you're like, hi, James, um, hope you're okay. Just wanted to maybe ask, obviously like this is all happening, blah, blah, blah. And by the time you've written your lovely, email you haven't gotten to the question until like a paragraph in and if a professor like is going through his like 600 emails a day they do not care about your nice email like it's nice but also like get to the question so what you want to do is put your question in the subject so they can see it when it pops up straight away not even having to read your email they can just see the subject okay and yeah maybe put some nice things in the email but put your question in the subject it's so much easier quicker for them and you'll probably get replied quicker because they can like reply straight away without having to read your lovely long email okay so number 16 i'm lastly just gonna say freshers week has like a lot of pressure and like build up to it it's like freshers week the best week of your life like you're gonna have so much fun you're gonna be drunk and you're gonna meet your best friends of life and yeah some people do have like the best freshers week some people literally last two days and then they are so ill for the rest of it they literally can't continue some people don't even go out on freshers week they just want to get on with their degree you know so freshers week it's as good as you make it okay and also like don't go there with all these sort of like pressures of this is going to be the best week of your life because again it is going to be an interesting week of your life but it's what you make of it and if you just want it to be you know you're meeting new people you're going out maybe once or twice like that is chill if you want to go hardcore go out every night you're a champ that is also chill. Like do whatever you wanna do. Don't be pressured by this like stigma surrounding it, okay? And yeah, just have fun, be safe guys. Remember there's still a global pandemic going on. So, you know, social distance and all that lovely stuff. And I hope you guys have a really, really, really good first year. But yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like if you liked it. Please like if you disliked it. You know what I'm saying. And comment down below if you have any questions or if you wanna talk or go to my Instagram and DM me. Okay, right. Like, comment, subscribe please. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.